Welcome back to Hiking with Kathleen. Today, Shannon and I are on a road trip. We're heading to Rondo Provincial Park. It's the birding season, so this is going into the second week of May. And we are also going to stop and have a look at the most photographed house in Canada. Hope you stay tuned. Oh, my God. 
So we're out wandering around right now. We've had a chance to go for a couple of uh, drive-bys and see some swallows, which was quite nice. I uh, checked out the Rondo Bay. And now we're just walking up to uh, the lake shore. We left our car at the visitor center, so from here you can do a little walkabout. It's easier to see things than when you're driving along. I've seen lots of cool things when driving along, but and then you have to pull over. You get you got to get your camera set up, and all of those things may not line up very well. So, uh, so we are parked at the visitor center. We always love going into the visitor center for whatever park we're in and support the friends of. So in this case, the friends of Rondo Provincial Park. But there's certainly a lot of bird activity, a lot of bird watcher activity too. <laughs> it's a good good day to come. So this is uh, May tenth, twenty twenty three.
wrapping up our day. We've had our lunch. Uh, we were up at the visitor center. We had a nice little tour through that. And we wanted to check out the camping. So we're just following the, the map and looking at the electrical sites. I mean, it's not that we're opposed to being on the non-electrical sites, because I mean, we do that at Wheatley Provincial Park, but we just want to see what kind of buffer zones they have here. So the place we're looking at right now is called Ash Road. Like for example, we've just passed site 215. Um, these sites are rather open, so they're meant for RVs. I want to have a quick look and see what the non-electrical sites look like because if we can get sites that have uh, a better buffer zone, that we would like that a lot better. So, don't you agree? And I know one of the reasons you want to camp at a place like this is because there's, you know, the beautiful trails. I have to say, we are very happy that we chose to come at this time of year because in all of those swampy areas with all the boardwalks, we had no issue with bugs. We could see that there were bugs present in the park, uh, like when we were out at the bay, and that's good for birds because they eat bugs but I mean we didn't have a lot of biting insects to worry about in fact we didn't have any mosquitoes or anything like that around us so okay we're gonna have a look and find the non-electrical and then we'll check in with you again okay so now we're traveling down Oak Road and it still seems like it's very open without the luxury of having electricity so sites aren't very deep yeah they're fairly close to the road so I guess you know it could be that we're not in the most rustic area of Rondo Provincial Park I don't know 
The only time I've camped here was when I was a child and I came with a group of friends and two very brave parents that brought all of us kids and it rained the whole time. Oh my God. Anyway, um, <laughs> it provided great childhood memories. I think we stayed instead of two nights for a weekend, we stayed for one night. But anyway, that's my only experience with having camped here. I've come here for a couple of day trips and, and that's been about it. So, but the park itself is beautiful and you know, it's on Lake Erie and there's all kinds of birds and other wildlife to find here. If we were to come, I would think that May would be the time. Because for one, with all the swampiness that exists along the, at least the Tulip Tree Trail, it would be very buggy here. I don't know about the campgrounds. The campgrounds might be, you know, fairly dry. It looks very dry where we are. So maybe it's not a, a maybe bugs are not really an issue here. But I would want to get into the forest. I would want to get along, move along the trails. So it's likely that, uh, you know, the first three weeks of May would be a good time to choose to come here. And then we would continue to explore the other area in, um, in like in the Chatham area, Leamington area. Oh, there's a nice Oriole. Um, so we would have lots of things to do in the area. So, all right, well, I think that's it. We're gonna head home. Thanks a lot for joining us today on Hiking with Kathleen.